Okay, this video is going to feature Harmon Smith. Now, what does Harmon Smith do? Well, he's a Nintendo fanboy. Some call him a Nintendrone. He also obsesses over things like Gollum, uh, coveting his precious ring. And you'll see him, he's going to go into overtly theatric performances uh, to display how much he loves his ring, how much he loves and covets uh, his thing. But it's uh, pretty interesting that he didn't uh, pump and show his book. He must have forgotten about that, because usually that is the... Uh, Introduction to most of his things is some sort of a shameless self-plug, but let's continue on his overtly emotional introduction. Here we go again! The one game! The one... Shouting. He's shouting at the camera like a lunatic. So therefore, his presentation in the, uh, uh, the theme what he has already presented has been set by the hook and uh, his hook is that he is going to come at you like a crazy person at an insane asylum shrieking his points all of his conspiracies at you at once where you're going to be like go away crazy person you're scaring the normals game that anybody believes might have a chance at taking game of the year this year the only game that anyone believes might actually chance, stand a chance against Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Starfield, of course, going into this, everyone knows. This is a typical trope. Uh, when you don't have any facts or evidence to present your case in a thesis or a dissertation, uh, the American method is typically be loud and annoyed and, and freaking shout everyone down in the most obnoxious way possible uh, to get your point across. Uh, there's no point to scream and shout at the camera because that's what he's talking to. He's not talking to people on a street corner. He's not at a protest. There's no reason for him to shriek his points across to an audience that doesn't exist. Because it, what he's doing is he's just yelling at a camera. Okay. This game has a lot of problems, okay? It's coming out soon in the next couple of weeks or something. The problems are becoming evident. It's released in September. When he means soon, he means September. Like in two, three weeks. People are like pointing things out. Like there's a loading screen thing. Oh man, I'm so... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, is he, what he's referring to by the loading screen is a tweet by the uh, developer known as Grums. Grums made an uh, impossibly stupid tweet to which one of my tweets got... Uh, for hundreds of likes and thousands of views because I essentially freaking said he was a prostitute because he didn't get a blue check. Well, he had a blue check and he didn't even monetize it, and yet he was uh, creating viral tweets that made him no money. Who does that? I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna be a troll, for you might as well get paid for being a troll. I mean, the whole point of uh, being an idiot online should be profit above all things because that that lets you keep doing it and buy better equipment now what he did right there is uh in storytelling when you put your heads on your heads and rock back and forth saying crazy stuff that is typically the characterization or the uh physiognomy <laughs> thank you grums of uh a person in an insane asylum that's completely out of their mind. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. We all right we all know you're you don't know what you're doing, Harmon. It's it's okay. I'm here to tell you how you're not doing it. There are a lot of people trying to pretend as a Starfield head. All those people probably don't exist, and they reside in the vagrancies of his mind as audio hallucinations, or even possibly visual hallucinations to which he converses. To I would not put it past him to have personal conversations with Zelda when nobody else can witness it because it's probably a visual hallucination. The chance at winning Game of the Year from Tears of the Kingdom. They are damage controlling, they are making up a He knows the future before it happens. He already knows what Starfield is going to do before it's even released. Mind you, he doesn't even have a review code, nor does he have any access to reviewing it, so therefore, anything that he says on this game is purely speculative. This is the BX 
excited for the game. They're overhyping it. They're, they're trying to... He's not excited for the game, but he's got to tell you all about it. Then he might as well just advertise it at this point. It looks better than it really does. They're uh, ignoring all the very blatant issues. And... Ignoring all the blatant issues. All the issues... Okay. Just because you point out a problem doesn't mean it's a problem. If nobody gives a, a crap about the problem that you're pointing out, it's probably not a problem. Like, it, all right, if you're at work and you point out a problem that the bosses don't give a crap about, it's not a problem. Even though you might consider it a problem, it's not a problem to them because they only care about their bottom line, not your bottom line or your precious ring because you're uh, doing a Gollum impression. What's more, they're coming after people like me who are addressing... Everyone is coming after Harmon. He's the one with the conspiracy theories, and they're just out there to free put rigorous tape over his mouth and shut him up because he's just saying the unsolicited truth of a reality that nobody wants to hear. Again, that's insane asylum stuff. Our concerns with this game. We are... Our concerns. He's saying in the plural. I would have to ask him if he has a turd in his pocket because who is this we and who is this R? But we all know that it's uh, when he says R, it's him and the thousand friends he has in his mind. Openly, you know, talking about Starfield, how it can't compete with Tears of the Kingdom, or even really like any other Nintendo game this year. Like how it clears. Again, a game that hasn't been released, Ness, not even competing yet. He has to uh, go on a crusade or a holy war. His own personal jihad against Starfield because it crushes his. No, sorry. It threatens his precious ring. It really has, like, the Bethesda problems, how, like, you know, the tone is messed up. Like, the gameplay doesn't look good. Like, there's nothing about this game looks impressive in the. You don't know any of that. You haven't seen any of it. Therefore, your commentary on that is purely speculative. Right? But this game, much like Baldur's Gate 3, much like Final Fantasy 16, much. He really hates Baldur's Gate 3 because it precious it it precious his, it threatens his precious Zelda. Now I would have to comment that Diablo 4 uh, suffers from an infernal case of the Activision. You see, Bobby Kotick had to get his slimy uh, hands all over it, and uh, they had to nerf characters. They had to increase difficulty, nerf characters, and then just ended up very good leveling each other out, so their actions were totally pointless. Not to mention the uh, infestation of microtransactions. One of the, the best, big, biggest games this year, because when you get right down to it, the gaming industry has nothing else. We're they have plenty of things. Uh, there's plenty of games on my roster that I've just played. There's uh, some indies that I'm working on. Uh, I've uh, in my Steam library. I was just playing ha uh, Hades: Risk of Rain. Two. I was. Uh, I beat uh, Ratchet and Clank. Rift apart on my Steam Deck. Uh, so it's unlike I have any thing uh, not to play. I have. About 1,200 games in my Steam library. I got about 350 games on the Switch, and uh, I got about 212 games on Xbox. So I have a considerable backlog. So uh, it doesn't matter if any new games are released. I still have something to do. All these big juggernaut games, stuff like this, stuff like this, stuff like this. He's comparing Forspoken, Hi-Fi Rush. Forspoken, uh had a considerable technical difficulty and uh, uh, dialogue was considered toxic and insufferable and it was considered a uh, failure by every standard. Same thing with Redfall. Redfall had similar technical problems and uh, incom incomprehensible plot uh, therefore both the PS5 and the... So the fact is, is that you really have nothing to say other than to your thesis point is about something popular, and then you transition into some sort of orgy about Nintendo. And then you crap on people. Uh, like I said, you covet your precious, and then you are nothing but a fountain of toxicity to everything around you. So, what can I say about that? Other than, I mean, stay salty, Harmon. <laughs>